Do you love traveling but always find yourself fighting crowds, paying higher prices, and the lot? Want to avoid that in the future? Stay tuned. Welcome to Travel Tip Tuesday with the Travel and Cheese Head. My name is Michelle, and every Tuesday I share a practical and helpful travel tip to save you time, money, and headaches. And today is all about saving time and saving money. So way back when, my husband and I decided, let's go to Disney World. And we decided to go in June. Sounds like a great idea, right? You know it's summer, it's gonna be hot, it's gonna be wonderful. Let me just tell you, it was peak season. The park was absolutely packed. Hotel prices were expensive. Rental car prices were expensive. Flights were expensive. It was a crazy time for us to go. And I know it's when most people take their vacations, the kids are out of school, and I don't know what I was thinking. We don't have children. We don't have a reason to wait till the kids are out of school to go travel, but we did in this case. And we ended up spending more money and not being able to experience the park as much because of the fact that it was so crowded, which meant lines for the, the rides were really long and traffic getting in and out of the park was very hectic. So we wasted a lot of time on those things where if we had gone maybe at a different time of year, it would have been calmer and we would have saved some time, saved some money and some headaches, right? So my travel tip for today is no matter where you go in the world, always look to see if you can travel in the shoulder seasons. What is a shoulder season? It's not this. What a shoulder season is, is those that season right before peak and right after peak. Because things are still lively and happening and the weather is still usually very cooperative. However, you aren't experiencing the peak crowds. Every single tourist destination has a peak season and it may vary from destination to destination. However, do your research look at when the peak season is and then go just before that or just after that you're gonna have a much better time and be able to experience that area so much easier than battling all the crowds you'll get more out of your visit so for instance with the Disney example I gave you Disney World in Florida the peak season is the summer months it's really between June and September when the kids are out of school, when the families can travel. Another peak season for them is spring break. Now, there are probably several spring break seasons um, because different school districts go on spring break at different times, but just be mindful of when those periods of time are because if you can plan to go, you know, if we had gone in April or if we had gone in October, we would have had a far different experience than when we went in June. So I hope you found today's tip helpful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, click that thumbs up, and please ring that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. I look forward to traveling with you soon on the Traveling Cheesehead. Thanks for watching. Travel safe. Mm -hmm.